What's up guys and gals, welcome to the next episode of Betrayer. We are way out in the deep forest. In the previous episode, we had finally took our leave of Fort Hope. Although, from what I understand, we're probably going to be heading back there. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. This game is very non-linear, which gives it kind of this weird haunting face. Where you're, I'm never really quite sure what I'm supposed... I'm still not sure what the point of this game is. Like, what am I working towards right now? And so hopefully in this episode of the next one, we'll find out. The game doesn't do a very good job of, like, letting you know what any ultimate object... Like, what is the objective for beating this game? No clue. I just keep unlocking ghosts and kind of trying to come across mysteries, and really it kind of seems like there was a giant just circus o slaughter that took place in this. I went through my notes right before this. Oh, I see something over there. Die. Hey. There we go. Poof. Poof goes the poof ball. The tree nut. Let's continue. I went through my notes right before this episode, and oh my. A lot of people have been murdered. I didn't realize, like, with regards to quantity of how many people have died in between us starting this game and now, it's pretty incredible. I would say that almost every other note entry is something along the lines of was murdered by this... That's not a spider box, is it? Okay, they're making me all paranoid. I ain't down with no spider box. Let me go get my last arrow, which is way over here. I can see it glowing in a lovely fashion way off in the distance. I have never heard a more terrifying bird sound. Like, the silence and that bird just chittering away. I realize he's having a great day, and he's maybe doing those things that birds normally associate themselves with. Bathing. Singing. Floating lightly on breezes. However, I would just rather have silence right now. I think the sound of birds chittering away and being happy while I'm under the risk of being murdered is unsettling. Because it really kind of reminds you that nature does not care. And I want nature to care. Don't remind me of that fact. That makes me sad. I want nature to deeply care about what happens to me. Whether or not it will or won't. I don't know where we should be going. It says that there's a thing over here, but it's not really marking it on my map, so we may be going back into... The default mode that I was using. Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't see the right hand border. I must have skipped by it too fast. Never mind. It showed me. No! Don't hurt me, natives. You hurt me a little. Not a lot, just a little. I mean, it's kind of like being spurned at the bar levels that you hurt me. It's not so bad. I'm sure with a band aid and several drinks, I'll probably be okay. That's how we medicated things back then, isn't it, right? You just drank heavy. <laughs> you just drank heavily. That's how they fixed everything back in this time. You just drink more. I'm feeling a little paranoid right now. And I feel like the sound has changed slightly as well. The sound definitely has like this guttural like, oh tone thing going on right now that it's never had before. Oh good, there's another tree with nuts. Go away, tree nuts. That seems like a really, really poorly named snack food. Like, welcome, it's tree nuts! We've got barbecue flavored tree nuts. Enjoy. Enjoy the savory, salty goodness of tree nuts. <laughs> okay, so we'll dig this. Dug up a necklace of assorted feathers, clearly Indian craftsmanship. The remains of a woman who appears to have been Impaled. Okay. Not so good for her. Not quite as fun as being impaled. I love impalas. Impalas are great cars. A lot of people are going to disagree with that, but I enjoy a nice impala. What should we do now? You hear nothing else in the light. Well, that's not good. So I guess we'll go southwest to this little town over here. And we'll just see what it has on offer. I do feel like the game is coming to some sort of conclusion. We figured out who the lady in red was. It's just kind of... I, I think we're just dithering at this point. Something bad's gonna happen when we get down here. Of that I have no doubt, because we are on the last map. Something was supposed to happen in Fort Hope, and it didn't happen. I'm sorry, I found out spoilers about this game. And so since it didn't happen, I'm left to sort of figure out what we missed or what we have not done. Oh, it's the native village. Okay, so this might be our first opportunity to actually interface with some of the things that happened to the natives. Got a couple of diggy spots. We've got some corpses. We still hear nothing in the light, so I guess it just leaves it up to you to figure it out. An explosivo. 
Yeah, I figured they tried to blow up the village or something. These houses look really well designed. That house looks comfortable as hell. It looks like you would actually pay a lot of money. With regards in confines of Tropical 5, this is like ecotourism right here. People would pay money to live in these. Maybe I'm... Unlock the deserted campant destination. The remains of a grown man. There are no obvious signs of violence. We are like the Gil Grissom of the explorer world. We are just coming up with all, ki like, all kinds of little factoids that we should have no clue about given the time period and where science was at. I mean, we were still pulling teeth and stuff to cure colds at this time period. More remains. The person, too, seems to have died where he fell. Guess we'll go with the diggy hole. Dug up a partial and badly weathered map of the region around Fort Hope, indicating Indian settlements and encampments. Some are marked with skull symbols. The word blight is written in a margin. Alright. Well, maybe I'm supposed to go back to Fort Hope. I still... Oh, there's another dead guy. Again, this person died without any apparent injuries. Okay. It seems as though this party's sort of dead. And so with that in mind, I think we should more than likely just kind of leave before we share the same fate. Although I hear tinkling again. We'll kill that because I don't feel like getting myself taken out. Oh, it's a treasure chest. A Chesto del Treasure. Where did my arrow go? Okay, so it's stuck in. Sorry about that, natives. I don't mean to use your house as target practice, but how come these arrows, these arrows stick and the other ones bounce? That's saddening. Like, am I coating some of them with rubber? I just put rubber tips on some of them just to mess around. I had the coolest bow when I was a little kid that had rubber-tipped arrows. You could actually injure other children with it. People don't know that nowadays. Like, little kids, if you grew up past, like, the 1990s, your life was an utter mess of people just saying that things were too dangerous for you. But, if you had toys before 1990, everything was made out of, like, sheet metal. Everything had rusty edges. Things that were made out of rubber were not actually made out of rubber. They were hard plastic. For example, I had a na like I had a what the hell was that? I had a I had like an Indian bow as a little kid for when you were playing like cowboys and Indians that actually shot arrows. It was like a little short bow that shot arrows with rubber tips, not like suction cups, not suction cups, rubber tips and it would actually fire things at a decent you could put out a child's eye with it it was a great toy that is the justification for is this a good toy will it put someone's eye out i had a gi joe thing where it like it's hard to explain but it shot these little discs so you would pull back this little lever and let go and it was a hammer that would launch these plastic discs that actually had weight like they felt like they had a little metal cylinder in the middle of them or something that gave them weight so that they could actually purposefully injure other children and of course Oh, hell. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I don't want to fight in the dark like this because I can't see worth anything. And firing at little fiery splotches seems ineffectual. Are they going to give up? Or are they still on me? Okay, so... Why did that health bar just show up? Did something attack him on my half? Do I have a pet tiger? I hope I have a pet tiger. Oh, hell. Oh, I overshot that one. Yeah, get some. Oh, there's another one. Well, then here is some sum so that you can feel included. I have all the sum that you will ever need. I got sums like a math class. Let's go ahead and grab all of their gear because I can trash it and sell it because that's what you do to disrespect your enemies. You pick up their stuff and then you throw it in a trash bin and then you get money for throwing it in a trash bin. I guess that arrow is all full up. I... There's a little house right there. So I guess we'll go over there and check that out, but... I think this map is just about tapped out. I think they were hinting that they want me to go back to Fort Hope and take a look at all the Native American settlements so that we could figure this out. I, I was... I had a distinct feeling they were going to force me to play the game backwards in some respect or another. 86 coins. Good. 
Although I don't know if that's a good thing because in North American slang, if something is 86, it means that it's dead. And so that might be the game hinting or it's something that's bad or it means that something needs to be gotten rid of or has been gotten rid of. And so if you're at the store, for example, and you've got like Cheetos, Doritos and Lay's, you'd be like, uh, what do you feel like today? You're like, oh, I don't know. 86 the Lay's. It means to get rid of them. I don't know why it means that. Eight, I'm sh I mean, eight is the letter H and then... I guess that F would be the letter six. Or I'm sorry, the letter F would be six. I don't know if HF stands for anything. I don't know. It's sometimes when in North American slang, when you use letters, they mean numbers. And when you use numbers, they mean letters back and forth. But it's only sometimes. So I don't know what 86 means. I have no idea. I mean, it could be a year for all I know. 1986. I don't know. It's something that I'm not privy to. The Lone Cabin Destination. That does sound like a place that you would go on a vacation. Where are you going? At least in California, we have a lot of little random cities that are named stuff like that. Be like Lone Pine, Lone Cabin, Lone Destination. Sometimes people get cheeky with naming their with their cities and they just name them like Alone. And then they'll be the only citizen in the town of Alone. People like to think that hipsters are a new thing. But hipsters were definitely around in the 50s and 60s. The remains of an adult man, scorched flesh, dangles from charred bones. There is no other evidence of a fire in the vicinity. We found all clues on this map. Although I still hear something. So it's a treasure chest with... Ah, they tried to get me. They tried to get me to come around that corner. See, I'm on to you. I'm on to you, video game. You can't trick me. Evil stalks these woods. We are all of us doomed. Arm yourself, preferably with my wares, of course. Well, if you're Doom 2, so... Oh, Doom 2 was a great game. I don't want to jump subjects too fast, but Doom 2 was a really fantastic game. Let's sell off some of these crossbows. We already have a quality crossbow. I'm using the Warrior Shortbow because it was way better than the one that I had already. We have an exceptional pistol. I thought that I equipped this... Let me put that right there. I'm just going to go with two pistols because I'm not really impressed with the musket so far. We'll get rid of all the longbows and stuff because I don't care anymore and I think we're towards the end of the game. Put in the quality charm of vigor instead of the common charm of vigor. And now we're sitting at 2300 gold coins. Seems like the time to retire from adventuring to be honest. We've got more than enough money to keep ourselves safe. I guess I'll just focus on upgrading the things that I'm using that seems all right and then use the remainder of my money to maybe buy pistol ammunition okay so that's fine I'm happy with this are these all reloaded by the way okay these are all reloaded and then it looks as though a bell could be mounted here but there is no bell. Maybe you get one from the native encampments? I don't know. Let's follow the road to the west. It said we found all the clues, but maybe there's a bell laying around somewhere. So that we can go into the darkness. Well, that didn't work. Oh, neither did that. Hip firing was not the business. That was the most accidental headshot I've ever made. Ooh, feeling a little bit like Neo right now. What is this native doing? He's running. I just killed five of his friends. Not, not a bad plan. I would probably run away too if somebody killed five of my friends. It seems like that's a good recipe to learn some life lessons if you continue that assault. Damn it, die. There we go. Stop dodging my arrows. It's offensive to me. You're supposed to just be like, Welp, it's what I'm here for. I'm just a set piece to add combat to the game. Go ahead, shoot me repeatedly. How meta is that? <laughs> Speaking of hipsters, I just talked about the meta, which makes me a hipster. Oh, I, I thought there was an arrow stuck in that tree. I was like, wow, it's weird how your arrows always end up stuck in trees, no matter how you fire them. I'm going to try not to get too far off the road I guess but this road has to go somewhere right they wouldn't continue it off to the edge of the map unless it went somewhere so I guess we'll just go have a look and I guess the worst case scenario is that we burn a couple of extra calories running over here 
We have a teleportation system at our disposal, so I don't see why not. Oh wow, those things are everywhere. If only there was an XP system. If there was an XP system, this would be totally worth it. Or worth it, depending on where you're from. The westward path. Oh, there is a way out of here. So where does this go? I mean, obviously to a path that the Forbidden Wilds. That sounds pretty foreboding. I mean, they both start with four and a B. So I guess they would share that quality. There's a big city over here. Or a large native village. I don't know how heavily I'm going to explore this place. Oh. All right. I don't want to be on the road anymore. I want to be over here. What? Oh no, this place sounds like bad things happen. This is the sound that I imagine when somebody like holds your head underwater. There's something over, ooh, a treasure. Well, at least there's something in the darkness. Is that an experience that every child had? So for example, at one, at some point in every child's life, there's that moment where their friend holds their head underwater for too long, and you just develop this phobia of drowning for like a few weeks. I don't know, maybe that was just me, but I feel like every child I've ever talked to and every adult has had that experience where they're just like, oh yeah, somebody held my head underwater for way too long that one time and it just gave me a weird phobia. I must report to the Lord Governor. Who are you? I am Clement Wright. James Markley sent you after his daughter, Allison. I remember seeing her flee into the woods. I wanted to go after her, but I was wounded. A broken arrow coated with dry blood. Found an engraved powder flask. Its contents have been ruined by the elements. The remains of a man who seems to have been killed with an Indian arrow. I'm not going to lie, this isn't looking good. This is looking real bad for us. I never use the explosives because they're on a key that I can't reach. A scrap of right, or a scrap of bright red cloth stuck to a tree by an Indian arrow. Okay. Oh wow, we walked right past something. What did I miss? Is it just him? I think it is. I think the directional thing's just being weird. Is this broken arrow the one that injured you? I suppose that it is. I remember my legs suddenly giving way. I didn't feel the pain until I was lying on the ground staring at the bloody shaft that had torn through my knee. I had to break it off to pull it out. I wonder if that's a Skyrim reference because he got hit in the knee with an arrow. I found this powder flask through the remains of a man who died nearby. I remember Simon Holt pouring powder into the barrel of his musket, reloading as fast as he could. Then he went stiff and fell sideways, an arrow in his throat. I found this scrap of cloth next to a tree here. Allison was fleeing into the woods. An arrow caught her cloak and pinned her to a tree. She yanked herself free and kept running. I wanted to go after her, but I was wounded. I must tell the Lord Governor. Perhaps if I rest here a while, I can make it back to Fort Hope. Okay, so there's something a ways off this way. Guess we'll go take a look. I mean, let me look at the notes. So what was that guy's name? Simon Holt. Was wounded by an arrow to the knee in an ambush, so yeah, it is a reference. Clement Wright, that's his name. Okay, so I've been told that you need to keep straight who all of these wraiths are later on. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to try and re-familiarize myself with some of the names that we've become familiar with over the course of the gameplay. 
make sure that at least I know names because ghosts get offended really easily and then they're predisposed to doing things like hiding under your bed and shaking chains and making you nervous on Halloween and all kinds of stuff. You made me walk a long ass way for this, aren't you? I guess out... Ooh, made me jump. All right. Getting too comfortable. We gotta get saucy. Let's do this thing. Saucier than barbecue wings. Let's do this thing. I mean, if you make them like I do anyways. You gotta slather them things. If it ain't dripping, it ain't a barbecue wing. You ain't done it right. There's a treasure that I think I shall partake in greedily. Oh, what in the hell is that? What in the hell? Nah. A deer skull. I'm gonna let you know, I almost swore right there. Like, I try to keep it PG-13 on this channel, but I, I almost, I was close to dropping F-bombs. They were very shortly about to make themselves present. Now, I know, because I accidentally found spoilers, that this is a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways, because this game doesn't control me. And this is the order that I would have discovered it anyways. A burning naked lady. That seems kind of hot. Oh, you get the joke? Did you get it? I mean, I probably shouldn't make jokes, but it's still, you get the joke? I'm not being, I'm not being an asshole right now. It was actually, I was trying to be humorous. I'm not saying that uh, burning naked late. I, I, I feel like I'm a serial killer now that I've made that joke. The charred remains of a woman are visible through the flames. Strangely, there's no heat from the fire, though the stench is horrific. But yeah, the joke is that fire is hot. God, I'm not a serial killer. I'm not sitting around cutting the faces off people pulling a buffalo bill or anything, I swear. That's not me. That's not who I am. Oh, you hear nothing else in the darkness. Okay, that's fun. It's enjoyable. Maybe we should go back to this village over here. Let's go have a look. No! You go away, spooky thing! I mean, I'm going to be honest, the first time you attacked me, you had the element of surprise because I had never seen one of you before. Now I'm not quite so terrified about you, but still, you are sort of creepy with your weird graspy, gropey hands. And the fact that you're burning naked ladies over there with graspy, gropey hands, I don't know, it makes me doubt your character, sir. It makes me doubt your character. That noise is horrific. He's going to be like, I don't know, you're the one making jokes. I mean, I'm just burning naked ladies. You're the one making jokes about it. I'm not sure who's worse between us. I'd be like, you raise a decent moral point. Low-lying fruit and all that. A hunter's longbow. Not really interested. Doesn't fire fast enough. Doesn't please me enough. I'm going totally the wrong way. We need to go kind of southeastish. We'll probably find the bell in here, I bet. And then we go back, we ring the bell, and then we do something. Oh, it's close. I could tell from the way it was coming through my headphones that it was so close. Damn. South? And you know something terrible is going to happen right here. There is no way we're making it out of this without some comp. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. There's a dude. Oh, there's a bunch of them. No. No, oh, there's a vendor. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, I'm not down for this. I'm going to break the episode off here. My name is Spider again. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle as I run away in cowardice. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. Hi, dude.